In 1967, Jocelyn Bell, a graduate student at Cambridge, noticed an anomaly in her radio telescope data. Sharp, regular pulses every 1.34 seconds. The signal, dubbed LGM-1, Little Green Men 1, was unlike any cosmic noise. This marked the first step toward uncovering pulsars, though initial theories even considered extraterrestrial origins. Bell's meticulous analysis ruled out earthly interference, setting the stage for a cosmic breakthrough. Bell and her team cross-referenced data, confirming the pulse's consistency and celestial origin. The 1.33-second interval ruled out human-made sources. The chalkboard label, LGM-1, humorously reflected early speculation, but physics soon took over. The discovery challenged existing cosmic models, hinting at a new class of objects. This pivotal moment shifted astronomy's focus to dense, spinning stellar remnants. By 1968, pulsars were identified as rapidly spinning neutron stars, collapsed stellar cores so dense that a sugar cube-sized portion weighs a billion tons. Their magnetic poles emit beams of radiation, sweeping like cosmic lighthouses. Bell's advisor, Antony Hewish, later won a Nobel, but her exclusion sparked debates on gender bias. The discovery cemented neutron stars' role in testing Einstein's relativity. Pulsars revolutionized astronomy, proving neutron stars and enabling tests of general relativity. The 1993 Nobel for Binary Pulsar PSR B1913 plus 16 confirmed gravitational waves. Val Burnell, though initially overlooked, became a symbol of perseverance, donating her 2018 Breakthrough Prize to support diversity in science. Today, pulsars remain cosmic clocks, unraveling quantum and relativistic extremes.